Hi everyone, welcome to Christine's Creations. How are you guys doing today? So today I'm working on a 13 inch round and I'm using a thinner mix, uh, the same type of mix that you would use for a Dutch pour. Um, uh, it is this one. I don't have any uh, pouring medium in it except water and a little bit of GAC 800. And um, we're gonna find out how that GAC works because I leave quite a bit on the, uh, on the piece of wood here. Uh, so I list the colors as we go along. If you're interested in knowing what colors, um, I this is my first time working with a couple of the Arteza Pearl pigments. Uh, this is one of them, the Arteza Pearl Golden Hour. And it dries so beautifully. Um, it's got not, not sparkle, but more like a metallic or a pearl. And that's Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. And that, uh, so a lot of the colors that I'm using are metallic or pearl. Um, I'd say at least four of them. Um, this one, Arteza Pearl Pink Tulip. I'm obsessed with this color and in combination with the gold, golden hour. Um, those two colors together just look amazing. So I wasn't sure exactly what I was thinking of doing. I just started playing around and, oh, is that copper? You know what, I, I think that's artist love copper. Uh, I didn't list that, but I'm telling you now that it looks like I use copper and gold. Um, and anyway, so I am trying out a new blow dryer that I've never used before. It's the tiny pink one you'll see coming up. And um, I kept it on low because I really didn't want it to get like really big. Um, and, um, and then from there, I started using my mouth and I felt like I was getting good success. So I continued to do that throughout. And let me see what else before I just go ahead and send you guys to music. But um, first I do a blowout and then I just a little titanium white for fun. I wanted to make sure I had enough movement and enough different colors to create something that is very flowery. That was all the goal was either one giant flower or multiple flowers, but definitely something with flowers. <laughs> was my goal and I'm really really happy with the results so I hope you guys enjoy this video and please let me know your thoughts in the comments below uh, like my video if you do subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you guys enjoy this
All right, here she is, everyone. Nice big bouquet of flowers. And there's my hand for size reference because it's pretty big. Anyway, um, before I put resin on it, I did make a change in this trunk. You can see it glowing with its pearl pigment there. Just like that. I, I just, this is the Arteza Pearl Cactus Green. And um, I just used the tip and just kind of, you can see the lines of where I put it on there. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot. So let's go over with the light and see, this is the favorite flower of the bunch for me. Just like, so perfect. And, um, you know, I kind of like the fact that there's less color on the background ones. It gives it kind of a 3D effect. But uh, I did the blow dryer blowout first and then I went in with my mouth uh, so, yeah, I just love this one. It just came out so flowery and pretty. And I'm just going to put a hook on the back um, and hang it on the wall and put it up for sale. So, yeah, there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I've got another video lined up um, coming this week. So I'm going to try to do um, two videos per week for the next couple of two or three weeks. Um, so I've got some uh, big plans. I can show you guys some uh, larger canvases I've got going over here. These are ready to go. And um, my whole paint table. And I'm going to be doing Dutch pours, uh, not the Shelly Art style. So... That's what's been kind of holding me up a little bit. Uh, here's a cute little color combo I was playing around with, silver background um, that my daughter suggested. Anyway, so getting ready for Dutch pours and I had to order a lot of pigments and stuff. So uh, those videos will be coming soon, so stay tuned. Bye now.